everyone. It's been a very long time since uh, Marvy and I have done a video. We've uh, been work camping at a resort high up in the Colorado Rockies and have just been so busy. Not a lot of adventures uh, to show you, uh, but the topic for today is that um, we've had some major plans and some major changes come up. and We want to talk about them, but they also involve finally selling and getting rid of our um, Kodiak 10 by 14 canvas tent. Now, if many of you are thinking of buying one of those, um, they're fantastic. So you're probably wondering why we're going to get rid of it. Well, we've been traveling for three years in our van and we used it before we built the inside of the van to live in for about a month. And, uh, and that's been great. Every time we go camping where we settle and stay in one place for more than a week, we usually set it up uh, because I can um, do different things in it. We can have Christmas, uh, we've had New Year's, we've had Thanksgiving in the tent. Uh, it's big enough for a big table if we want. Um, it's stable in 40 mile an hour winds. Uh, it doesn't rattle and make as much noise as a nylon tent. It's relatively easy to set up. You don't need guidelines. Uh, and the only difficulties we've ever had is, um, would be because the footprint is so large, you know, 10 feet by 14 feet, you wanna make sure you have a large enough camp space or campsite that's level uh, to, to use that. Um, if you hear cars in the background, <laughs> it's Jackson. No, go over there. Go over there. Um, we have a lot of traffic going by because this is uh, Highway 14 that goes up over near Rocky Mountain National Park, <laughs> and it's uh, end of the Fourth of July uh, holiday, so we do have traffic here. Um, but anyway, back to the tent. It's uh, it's been fantastic so far. We really love it. Um, however, Marvy and I have had some long discussions. As you know, uh, if you go to our the YouTube channel, hopefully you're watching us on our YouTube channel, uh, be sure to click and subscribe. And also there's that little bell if you want to know if and when we put new videos up. Um, that would be the best way to do that. Hit that little bell and you'll be notified. However, we lived in Mexico for five or for five years, and if you go to our YouTube channel and go to the playlist, you're going to see Walk Across America, uh, Being a Nomad, and one of the categories is uh, Mexico, and we did a few videos before we moved back to the United States three years ago. Well, after long discussions, um, we do love this nomadic life. Um, However, we decided we're going to be much happier back in Mexico. The way the cost of living is for people on fixed incomes and things, it's very difficult. And we had to make a decision whether we were going to um, buy a box truck and build that out and then just continue having to uh, you know, get jobs like this to support us. Uh, or go back to Mexico and Marvy has so many family and friends all over um, that we decided that we're going to do that. So um, when will that happen? Not sure. It could be this November or we are trying to find another job uh, through the winter and maybe the spring and summer to put as much money as we can in the bank as possible before we leave. We may move back in November. It's, you know, being a nomad, it just doesn't matter. Whichever way the wind blows, we can make decisions whenever we want. And that's a great thing about being on the road. So, um, we've decided to do that. And one of the things is that we really don't need such a heavy duty van full of everything uh, to, to go in Mexico. So what we will probably do is sell the van right before we leave and then fly down, buy a smaller car, and then continue the nomadic life, but doing it via um, maybe Airbnbs. Marvy has a lot of family there that we can visit. And we're just gonna, the, the plan now is that we're just going to spend a couple years um, or more just bouncing around Mexico, maybe Oaxaca, uh, Merida, back to Puerto Vallarta to visit friends, Leon, Guanajuato, 
all of these different places are available to us so we're going to be doing that and we'll be doing videos there so if you're thinking maybe you'd like to visit certain places in mexico or something keep subscribing hit that notification bell and follow us so we'll have more adventures coming up uh but one of the things was that we're going to have to bid farewell to this tent now the tent uh we have a friend of ours and she's got some land with horses and and llamas um, just about a mile down the road and so she's going to show up shortly and we're going to load up uh, the tent. The tent comes in three packages when you get it in canvas. Uh, there's a stake bag, a tent bag, and then the main tent uh, itself. So we're going to sell it to her today and we're going to go over and she's going to tell us where she wants to set it up. And so um, I'm not sure how we're going to produce this video yet, but if we get some footage, we'll show you that whole thing. And Okay, so that's it for setting up the tent and selling it to our friend Diane. It's on her land right by the river. Uh, she loves it, uh, pretty easy to set up. She's gonna leave it standing up for her family and grandkids to come and play in. So pretty excited about it. We feel bad about saying goodbye to our tent, but it's onward to other things, different jobs, and eventually Mexico. And also, if anybody is interested, it may be a year from now, it may be six months from now, we will be selling our van. And if you've been following our videos, it's a 2003 Chevy Express extended van, 6.0, um, 3500. And uh, it's got just a little under 200,000 miles on it. The engine's incredibly strong. And we're gonna be selling it as a complete turnkey nomadic package so if you're looking to get into being a nomad and you want something that you can just crank up and everything's there we're selling everything together 800 watts of solar a lithium uh, uh, max oaks uh, batteries a blue eddy uh, battery system which 1500 watts of so of, of, of watt hours um, stove the whole bed everything also tools all of my tools i'm not taking anything to mexico so uh, lawn chairs there are these chairs tables f maybe fishing equipment anything you want is a whole package i haven't quite decided on the price yet um but if anybody is thinking that they may want to do this 
uh, send us a private email at robandmarvy at gmail.com and I will keep you guys in mind and you will get the first notification of uh, when and where we're going to sell the van. Okay, so keep that in mind. So that's, that's about it. This is kind of a talkie right now, but I uh, just wanted to give everybody an update and wanted to let people who follow and that are curious about um, the Kodiak tent because we have had um, lots of hits on our YouTube channel. Probably the most uh, viewed videos that we have are on this tent. So for those of you who kind of see the title and uh, have nothing to do with nomadic experiences and are wondering why we're getting rid of this tent after you just placed your order for one and maybe are panicking, fear not. It's a great tent. You're going to truly love it. Okay. So, um, as always, write your comments down below, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask those, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.